Hi everyone, welcome back to Calm Day and Art. I'm Julia. In today's video, I'll show you how to paint simple art and flowers using just two colors. They've an option to add some ghost bladders for a special touch. This painting is perfect for fall themed cards. Let's prepare our materials. For this tutorial, you need watercolor paper. I'm using a small size to make it feel more like a card. I'm using Fabriana cold press paper without cutting. You also need a paper towel, a jar of water, a palette, two brushes, one larger and one smaller, and a watercolor set. My is Van Gogh. For some extra fun accents, you can use any gold watercolor or acrylic paint. I'll show you an alternative option later if you don't have it. Here's the color palette we'll be using today. If you don't have gold color, you can replace it with yellow ochre. You can find the full list of materials along the links in the description below this video. Before starting, I suggest adding a drop of water to each color you plan to use. It'll make picking up the paint with your brush easier. Choose a brush that feels comfortable for you. Let's mix the two colors. I'm adding more Mother Lake to the burnt umber to create a reddish brown shade. Then I make a separate more brown mixture. Now, with the smaller brush, I'll start by painting the stem of the first flower using the brown shade. I'm painting lightly, just using the tip of the brush. For the petals, I switch to the larger brush and add more water to the reddish mixture to lighten it. I start with the base of the flower and paint the petals by pressing the brush lightly, making each one unique. While the base is too wet, I'll add a little of the brown mixture with a few touches. Then we'll layer darker petals to give the flower depth and dimension. Let's move on to the second flower and paint the stem in a slightly different shade for contrast. Paint the petals the same way, slightly overlapping the first flower. Add some brown details to the base. Now we'll paint a small third flower just like we did the first two.
Once the flowers are completely dry, you can either leave them as they are, with a soft look and some optional splatters, or you can go a step further to add more volume to the flowers. For the next step, I'll mix a deeper reddish shade. I'll add darker petals using the wet on dry technique, leaving the tops of the petals lighter. Repeat the same process on the other flowers. While the flowers are still wet, add some brownish shadows to the petals and stems. Let's add a few small leaves using the brown mixture. I leave some white spaces on the leaves to give them a shiny effect. Now, using gold paint or yellow ochre, we'll create beautiful splatters. I want bigger splatters, so I use a large brush and load it up with plenty of pigment and water. Wipe off any unwanted drops with a damp brush. Next, we'll add volume to the flowers. Once they are dry or mostly dry, take a damp small brush and lightly rub the petals you want to make lighter, removing excess paint.
For even lighter areas, you can also blow the paint with a dry paper towel. Look how dimensional the flowers turn out. You can also add highlights to the stems and we're done. Here are the beautiful arm flowers we've created today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and interesting. Feel free to share your experience in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time.